trying to throw from the post. Kennedy, you had a game-winning time on points today. How are you seeing the floor, and how are you able to get so many good looks to the rim? This one? You can you, you just you leave. Can, oh, can I just talk? Yeah, okay. yeah. Um, how am I? So I'm sorry. Please repeat it. Um, you had a game-winning 21 points today. How are you seeing the floor, and how are you able to get so many good looks to the rim? Um, I think most of my points were off great passes, so being at the right spot at the right time and allowing my teammates to see me, um, and then just being aggressive, yeah. So. Uh, Aiden Crowley with WAB, this one's for either of you guys. Um, in your opinion, do you think that was the best half of basketball, that first half that you guys have put together this season? Oh, for sure. And then what was uh, what was clicking in that first half for you guys? What was working well? I think we just decided to believe in each other and trust in each other. Um, it is a long season. You go through a lot of ups and downs. But just reminding everybody our purpose and why we're, he why we're doing what we're doing. And our goal is to get to Cleveland. Um, and so I think we all just knew that this game was important for us. And so we all just kind of locked in. And great to be home again um, in front of our crowd. So Yeah, and I think most – like everybody played for each other. We were all in sync. We were all locked in. Um, whether it's the bench or it's the five that's on the court at the time. Um, and yeah, we, we were just really, it was just instinct. It felt really good to play in that first half. Um, you guys held ball stakes just 33% shooting from the field. Uh, how do you guys think the game went overall defensively? I think early on it um, went in our favor. I think towards the end um, we got a little sloppy, but I will commend us because we, all week we're practicing and practicing and practicing our communication because they are such a threat everywhere. Everyone on their team can shoot the basketball. So I think it was just our communication and again, our buying in and trusting each other that I know that can have my back and everybody else, every one of my teammates have my back. Yeah, I agree. Just knowing where the shooters are. Um, and just like the multiple efforts, even when it gets down to the last second, just remembering to lock in through the, the end of the shot clock. Um, for either of you guys, again, what kind of adjustments did Ball State make out of the half that kind of made that second half a little bit difficult? Um, were they just kind of knocking down shots they were missing in the first half or something else? Uh, what changed, I guess, in that second half? Um, I think they just had more energy than us. They knew they were in a position to, they needed to fight back. Um, and I think they came out with great energy and we didn't come out with the best of energy. Now I think we started to pick it up, but at that point it becomes a game of runs and they ended up finishing out with the last run of the game. So I think um, for the biggest thing for them was their energy and effort. Um, and we didn't come out with that same intensity we did in the first half. I agree. Um, one last question for the players, anybody? All right. Thanks, guys. Thanks, yeah. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Coach, you guys held Ball State to just 33% shooting from the field. Um, how do you guys think the game went overall defensively? Um, probably fine. Uh, we fouled too much, but I thought if I thought in a half court, I mean, you can't really, you can't really separate the possessions where you foul and say you played good when you didn't foul. But, um, you know, I thought I thought the team's energy and their effort was awesome. Um, and I thought sometimes Ball State was just a little bit better offensively than we could be defensively. But I, I thought their energy and their intention was really good and um, consequently put together some really good possessions. Um, and I think sometimes uh, late in those possessions just – the uh, the talent that Ball State had was better than our ability to guard. Uh, Aiden Crowd from WWB. Coach, you mentioned the fouls that Ball State got to the line 38 times today. Uh, was that just a byproduct of them being the aggressor, um, or how would you assess their ability to kind of assert them? They, they were good, and they got themselves in position to, um, you know, they're aggressive and. They did a good job of attacking when we were out of position. And, and, you know, usually when you foul that often, it's because you're in the wrong spot defensively. And I, I don't know. We'll see what the tape looks like tomorrow. But off the top of my head, I feel like they just, we were, um, you know, maybe a half a step late, you know, hand checking or offensive rebound stick back or, you know, not trying to take a charge and it ends up being a block or something like that. And, uh, 
you know, I think a lot of those came after we guarded them pretty well for a period of time. And then sometimes that could be pretty frustrating um, because a lot of good work just went down the drain. But there was certainly a lot of good work done out there today. Um, they also had 17 offensive rebounds. How difficult was their length for you to manage in this game? Um, yeah, I thought, you know, obviously 14 did a nice, Kiefer did a nice job of rebounding the ball with her length. And I thought Hampton did a nice job just pursuing the basketball. Um, and I thought both of them came up with some timely offensive rebounds when they needed them. Um, and again, you're talking about upperclassmen that have played in this league for a couple of years and uh, played at a high level for a couple of years and understand the, the moment. Um, you know, I thought those guys did a nice job making those plays. And I thought we did a nice job recovering from some horrific rebounding to start the third quarter to give ourselves a chance. And uh, obviously couldn't score quite enough in the fourth quarter to win the game. But I thought we did. Our kids showed a lot of toughness recovering from that poor start in the beginning of the third quarter. Uh, we were talking a little bit earlier. Um, we felt like that first half was probably the best half of basketball you guys have put together. Would you agree? And then how do you carry that into the kind of a tougher stretch here in these next couple games? Um, yeah, I agree. I, I loved our kids' energy. I loved our kids' approach. Um, I thought they showed a lot of togetherness. And, um, you know, it's hard to – to beat a team like Ball State, you have to sustain that energy for a long period of time. And we don't necessarily know how to do that just yet. Um, and that comes with experience and it comes with time. But I agree, and I appreciate you saying that. I thought the kids did a great job in the first half. And um, it's certainly something that we'll build on heading into Wednesday to try to recreate that and then try to sustain it for a longer period of time. One last question. Uh, Coach, there's uh, six more regular season games uh, but less than a year. You guys are nearing the home stretch. What is the mindset for the team going forward the rest of the way? Uh, this team just wants to get to Cleveland. That's all they want to do. That, that's all they really care about. That's all they talk about. Um, and so long as we mathematically have a chance to do it, I think they'll play their hearts out to do it. Um, so we'll see where the next six games take us. And, and I hope it I hope it takes us to Cleveland at the end. All right. Thank you, Coach. Yep. Thank you everyone.